Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm going to be drawing some practice tutorials and exercises that are from an old SOLIDWORKS book that I've had for many years. I've used these a lot and they were great for getting familiar with how to use SOLIDWORKS, only of course now I'm going to be using DesignSpark Mechanical. Now to make it easier for you to follow along with me, I have also created a PDF file that can be downloaded from my website that has a picture of the 3D model and the sketch I'm drawing to create that model. There will be a link to the PDF file down below in the description of this video. These tutorials and exercises will start off with the basics, then get into more advanced topics. All right, let's take a look and see what that PDF file looks like. This is the PDF file that you can download off the uh, website. And it has a picture here of what the 3D model is gonna look like once it's all done, or we hope that it looks like that when we get all done. And if you scroll down, here is the sketch I'm gonna be working from. If you wanna download this and follow along with me, you'll have this sketch either on your computer screen or if you print it out, you'll have it right in front of you. And it'll be much easier to follow along, especially if you're gonna to try to draw along with me. So uh, I would encourage everybody to, uh, if you want to follow along like that, to go to the website and uh, download this PDF file. All right, let's get started uh, drawing this up in DesignSpark Mechanical. All right, so we're going to open up our DesignSparks Mechanical. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and hit File, New Design. And I'm also going to hit the plan view to get it uh, looking right at it there. And, and also one thing I have to do is this sketch is in millimeters. So in order for me to draw this the easy way, I have mine set up for Imperial. So I, first thing I need to do is go change the uh, units to be in millimeters. So I'm going to come and hit File, Design Spark Options. And then I'm going to come down here to units and where it says this document, you can see mine is set up for Imperial. Uh, so I'm going to change it just for this document to be metric millimeters. And then I'm also going to set my grid spacing. Uh, it is set for one millimeter and then the number of grid lines per major is 10. So if yours doesn't say that, you'll probably want to change that. It'll make it real easy to draw this because uh, everything is in to the nearest millimeter with this particular part. So now that we've got that set, we'll click OK. All right, another thing I've noticed when I look at this sketch, I see that it's 70 millimeters wide, and I see that there's a center line right down the center of it, and I also notice that this is a symmetrical part. In other words, if you were to take this part and flip it over, everything's the same. The left side is just like the right side uh, of that center line. So this will be a really easy part to draw. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit the construction line and I want to come and draw a center line uh, right down what will be the center of this part. Well, I'm going to put the lower left-hand corner of the part at the origin. So I want to come over here there's 10, there's 20, there's 30 there, and I wanna come on over to 35. Click there, start bringing this up, and then hit the space bar and type in 60. And now I have what will essentially become my center line to draw this part. Okay, now since this part is symmetrical, there's a real easy way to do this. And I'm going to highlight that center line that I just drew, right click, and I'm gonna set this as a mirror line. And now everything I draw on this side will automatically be drawn over here on this side. So we really only have to draw about half of this part because it's gonna draw the other half for us. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit the line command and I'm gonna start off right here in the origin and I'm gonna start bringing it straight up. And again, I'm gonna hold that, hit the space bar key and I'm gonna put 40. Following along with the sketch. Now I know the next line. So I'll hit that there and we're gonna come over this way, uh, 10 millimeters. 
and it really helps to have the uh, the snap set up to your grid and you can see my snap right down here I've got it set to the grid so I can click there and now the next line over is going to be all the way over to the center and you can see as I draw this it's drawing it for me on the other side let me see if I can pan this over a little bit so you can get a better look at it all right so now I'm going to come back to down here where the origin is and click the line again and I click that and I need to come over 10 millimeters so I'm going to click there now you can see from the drawing it comes straight up 10 millimeters so I'm going to click there now it comes over this little notch is 10 millimeters wide so I'm going to click right there and then back down here uh, and click there and then of course come over and join it right there at the center line so you can see how easy that was it really when you have a part that's symmetrical it's really easy to draw it in, in just a few minutes because if you just concentrate on putting a center line and use it to mirror whatever you draw on one side of that line it's going to put on the other side all right now let's uh we've got a couple of holes to put in so let's go up here and we'll click the circle and it looks like these holes are 10 millimeters over and 10 millimeters down so i'll click right there and then i'll hit the space bar and we'll let's see that is a 10 millimeter hole so we'll put that and again you can see it draws both of them at the same time okay so now as we look at our sketch we see that this cutout that's in the middle is 15 millimeters up from the bottom and it looks like it's uh let's see 15 millimeters off of the center line so if we draw our line here and we come up to uh let's see where we're at here 15 there we are 15 millimeters so i'll click there and then I'm going to come out to right there, which is 15 millimeters off that center line. Click there. Now I need to come up. It looks like 10 millimeters up this way. We'll click there. And then the cutout goes back this way, 10 millimeters to right there. And then we're going to come down five millimeters, according to our sketch. Click there and then come over to join it at the center line and there we have it there's the the sketch for the whole part in just a few minutes really so okay now before we move on and create this into a solid and, and create our 3d part we probably want to go back and double check a few things so i'm going to hit the uh, measure tool up here uh, or actually this is the dimension tool so I'm going to hit that and we're just going to start out and put some dimensions on here and make sure that everything matches the drawing that we're, we're looking at here. So I'm going to come over here and bring this down right here. And I think I'm going to be able to, uh, let's see if I can, yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, and you may have to do this too. I'm going to try to, there we go. I'm going to try to make this text a little smaller because I think I'm going to start running into it, running out of room here. So, all right. So we've checked the uh, overall width here. We're at 70 millimeters. That's correct. Now we can come back and hit our measure tool. There's 10 millimeters there, just like our sketch. Uh, we can go from here to here. That is also 10 millimeters. Uh, we can do this one. It's 10 millimeters. Uh, we can come over. Let's see here. Let's go from this line up to this point. And that is 40 millimeters. So that's matching our, our drawing. We'll come from this bottom corner here up to the bottom of that cutout. And it's 15 millimeters. That's correct. 
Now we can go from the height of this notch. And there's 10 millimeters. That is correct. And then we know that this part here sticks down 5 millimeters. So that's correct. Now we can go from this right edge and come up here to the this point right here where the chamfer starts. That's 10 millimeters. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and grab this dimension off of this hole. That's 10 millimeters. And of course, we don't really have to dimension this one because we know that since it we used the mirror and it drew those at the same time, that if this one's 10 millimeters, that one's going to be 10 millimeters. Okay, now let's uh, continue on and we'll grab this. Uh, see, if we go to grab this line, it's only grabbing half because it's really just coming to the center line. So if we want to know what that dimension is from here to here, we need to measure from this point over to this point. And there we get our 50 millimeters there. And then we can also check right here from, and we're at 10 millimeters there. And let me take a look here and see if we've left anything off. I think, uh, yeah, we need to go from here to here, which is that chamfer. So we've got 10 millimeters there. And then again, we can check this one. That's 40. So it looks like we've got, nope, I see we've got a few more things missing. Let's go from this line to this line. And there's 10 millimeters there, which matches our drawing. And then we've got 10 millimeters right there. So let's see, what else am I missing here? Okay, let's get, again, we want to do from here to here so that we can get that total distance right there. It's 30 millimeters. And then this is 20 millimeters right here. So now we can tell by looking at our drawing and then the sketch that we've just created and all the dimensions we've just put on it, we can tell that we've got exactly the same thing. So uh, looks like we did it correctly. So now we want to come up here to the 3D mode and select that. And then I'm also going to hit the home button to uh, give it there. And if I, if these dimensions get in the way, you can kind of just come up, come over here to the structure tree and turn off that annotation plane and that will turn off all your dimensions. And also if I want to get rid of that center line, I can undo that line where the curves are. And now I've got just the part. So now I'm going to hit the pull button up here, or you can use the letter P and I'm going to select this face and I'm going to pull this up. And as I'm pulling it up, I'm going to hit the space bar and we're just going to set this at about uh, 20 millimeters. Okay. And now when we come back and we look at our sketch, if I can get this thing uh, flipped around the right way, let's get this down here where I can, there we go. So now if I look at it, it kind of looks like our uh, our sketch. Let me actually pan it over a little bit. There we go. So you can see it a little better. All right. So there we've got uh, that sketch done. And what we've learned today is how to use the mirror on, uh, on a center line, how to set a, a center line as a, a mirror tool. And you can see how that is really handy and really uh, is, you know, helps you draw things that are symmetrical really, really fast. So if you've got, if you've gone along with me and your part looks like that right there, congratulations. You've completed your first uh, sketch tutorial here in uh, the Design Spark Mechanical. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you would do me a favor, leave a comment down in the uh, comments down below. Let me know if you like this style and want to want to do these kind of tutorials or exercises where you can download the PDF and can put it right in front of you and see what I'm drawing and, and follow along, uh, you know, draw right along with me if you want. Uh, or if you don't like it, put a comment down below and tell me that too. 
If you got anything out of this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to continue along with these little tutorials and exercises and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell down below so you get a notification every time I upload one of these. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching.